Okay, so I've had a couple of days off. I've just been working on resources and getting some materials together. So I need to build an NPC right now just for the kind of the next stuff that I want to work on in engine. So what I've done is I've uh, gone here and I'm going to go to female base. And I'm going to zoom that in so you can see it a little better. Make this a bit bigger here. There you go. So what I'm going to do is I'll start with the hair because I've already been working on the hair. You've seen that. I'm going to go female hair one yellow. Uh, then I got this ponytail hair or maybe I want to go female hair two yellow. I think I'll go with that one. It's a little, a little less of a, a bright yellow. Okay, go with that one. And now I want to choose the pants. And so what I'll choose for the pants is I am going to choose, oh, let's go with a skirt. I think I'm going to go with an orange skirt or a light blue skirt, light blue maybe. Sure, I'm going to go with a light blue skirt. And then for shirt, female shirt, how does the teal one look? Then it looks kind of like a dress. So that looks pretty good. I wanted to make it more like a top. Change that color to a bit of white. Light gray and white. That looks pretty good. What about darker blue? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Light blue skirt, dark blue. You know, there's a whole gambit of colors. I mean, maybe go with a black, a blue and a black, or a teal and a black. No, no, I'll go with that. That looks good. Although the I did like I did like the teal here. I like that look. I definitely definitely had to look more like a dress. Hmm. Decisions, 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 eh? Red top, teal. What about an orange top? Let's see a second. What about an orange top? Is this one gray? What about a teal top and pants? Skirt orange. Hmm, no, doesn't look as good as I thought it would. Rebel skirt. Burgundy skirt. We'll go with blue and teal. Blue and teal is fine. We'll go with that combo. All right. Anyway, so you can see that I've gotten built quite a few different varieties and options in there. I've also got pants options um, that I had before, and of course, then there's no top, and you could just have like the little halter top bra, sporty bra thing going. Um, but I think this is the one that I want for this character. So what I'm going to do is I am now going to export that character. And I'm going to go up here. Client editor. Resources. Entities. And we're going to call this one Dawn NPC. Save. 
So now we can exit out of here. I'll fire up the engine. We're in the engine, so now I'm going to go in the game editors, NPC editor, create a new one, new NPC, we call this one Dawn, and we're going to add a new folder, and we're going to call this Townsfolk. Perfect. Okay, so now what we're going to do is We're going to give that one there, and we'll have to give her some hit points. Perfect. Um, save. Now we're going to go over here to the map, and go NPCs, and we are going to go Dawn, Claire, Add, right there. And you have to double click to declare, you can't just single click. So now she should appear there. Yes, I want to save my map. I'm going to minimize, open up the client, and you'll see the other thing that I did in the client was I've added this background uh, actual proper screen. If you remember in the last video, I just had a placeholder there, but now I've added a, a Celtic warrior and a Zulu uh, warrior woman. So. And now, as you can see, there's the Dawn character right where I spawned her. So that worked pretty good. There she is in her teal top and her blue pants wandering around the map. Now, of course, she'll actually turn into an event. Oh, why do I have another Dawn spawned? Interesting. Not sure why there's another Dawn on the map. I must have done something in the editor. Uh, I must have spawned her twice. Let's just take a look. Don't see it. Huh. Oh, yep, yeah, there. That one's declared. That one's random. Okay. Remove. Okay. So, yeah, that's exactly what I did was I declared her twice. Minimize. That's fine and dandy. That's everything I wanted to show you today. So I'll see you in the next one. I'm hoping to have uh, more more uh, weapons and weapon animations done. I just really wanted to make sure to get uh, the the skirts done and the shirts done. So that those are available for the female classes. I have not done the male classes yet for the shirts. I will. But shirts will be, once I have a base shirt like these set out, I can then take them, copy them, edit them, and turn them into various items of armor. Or even just use the different color shirts as placeholders. Put in a purple shirt and all of a sudden it's a dark energy protected shirt plus two to defense or something. I mean, there's a lot you can do, right? But you need the art assets in place in order to move forward and start with the story and even start with the progression. So... That's where we're at. I'm getting very close to being able to actually start laying out the map and, and laying out some events and stories and, and make this start to come together. It's, it's just a lot of art assets in the beginning and the background, getting those prepped and ready to roll. And now that I'm closing that gap quickly, we're uh, pretty quick. We're going to be able to actually start uh, doing some storytelling. So have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.